Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to teach you some more fingerboarding tricks. Now, you remember this deck from yesterday, uh, and, well, I was going to tell you that, remember, I was going to switch around decks, so, I don't need that. I need this one, <laughs> so, okay, I'll find that later. Um, I'm going to use this deck for this video, so, um, you remember... Uh, last time I taught you the ollie, the pop shove it, which I can't do right now, the pop shove it, and the heel flip, and the kick flip. Uh, I taught, I tried to teach you that just because, um, I know I said I was going to do three, but I technically did four, but it was just because some people like heel flips better than kick flips, and some people like kick flips better than heel flips, so I just decided to do that. Now, today I'm going to teach you some more complicated tricks. I'm going to teach you a 360 flip, and 50-50 on a rail, and a 5-0. Three tricks, every time. So, the first one is the 360 flip. Now, it's like a kick flip, or heel flip. So what you're going to do is do a kick flip. Once you got the kick, you got to get the ollie and kick flip down to do this. So... Uh, this it's basically the same thing but you're going to um, do a 360 while you're flipping so it's pretty much uh, like it, uh, lots of people who uh, do kick flips who start doing kick flips they usually do, like do spins on them and that's what you're gonna do it's pretty much like a mess up or something, sorry. So, you're going to kick flip, but instead of doing the kick flip, you're going to make it spin. So, it's going to be like that. Okay, so the next trick I'm going to show you is a 50 50 on a rail. So, a 50 50 is when your two pegs, or not pegs, uh, uh, when these two get on the rail, if I can even do it, so it's like that. Now, the thing is dropping off. When you, when you drop off, you're going to do that, okay? So, uh, yeah, it's like doing a wheelie, just a little bit. Just tapping your tail down. Just like that. So, um, the next trick I'm going to show you is kind of the same thing. So, uh, remember, when you do 5 -0, you have to drop off because when you when you don't drop off properly, you're gonna do this. So you gotta remember to all and this um includes the ollie. You have to ollie on the and uh thing to get used to it if you can't like aim at the rail right. Like a lot of th this usually happens when you try first. So you're gonna a way to help you is doing that, and then some people can't like get the drop off right. So some people just like, I, I I would I used to just like jump off and do that until I got the right motion. And some people like to like just practice off practicing dropping off, and that can help you too. So. That's another thing that can help you. So, the thing I'm going to teach you next is called a 5 0, which I just did. So, a 5 0 is when you do that same thing on the, when you try to drop off of a 50 50, but you do it all the way down the road. The roster just started. <laughs> uh, the sound quality might be a little bad because. I don't have a microphone yet, so sorry about that. But um, the 5-0 is 
is I think personally is easier because um, you do that same motion on dropping off so you don't have to worry about like doing it only when you get to the edge because some people like to do um, 50 50 to 5 O's instead because like you do it too early and you go like that and that's not how you do it. You gotta get it like timed just right where it doesn't look like a 5 0. So I personally think that 5 0's are easier. So I hope that's enough tricks for you guys. Uh, I see you. I'm gonna probably make one every day. I'll try to anyway, unless I lose my phone again. Then, you know, I'll have that long streak of no videos. So, um, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, and, well, have a good day. Bye.